Yeah, running, running, got me gunning, gunning. I'm old school cat, got me stunning, stunning. Funny how the rest gon' come in, come in. Funny how you back for the love and I'm in. I got one too many tricks up my sleeve, my sleeve. Overdose of empathy, my pops to me. More screenshots. Hi guys, it's Flora. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super grateful that you're here. So, what did I eat this week? Here we go. Check. Check. I started the day off with a good old matcha and then I made myself a turmeric oatmeal. I added some turmeric, pepper, cinnamon and oat milk to the oats and cooked them for around 3 minutes until I liked the consistency. I added all that to a bowl. Then I chopped up some beautiful peaches and apricots and they are my favorite fruits ever. They are so delicious, I cannot get over it. I also added some raspberries and coconut yogurt and this breakfast was so damn good. Raindrop on the black top, hot stop, feeling like a robot. For lunch, I made some millet along with cauliflower rice and a salad. I shredded the cauliflower, which was really messy. I almost shredded my fingers. Big commitment, guys. Then I added the cauliflower to the pot and I added some white beans, seasoned it with curry powder, turmeric, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and cooked it for around 10 minutes with some water. Someone's going to love me right. As you can probably tell, I was really into shredding stuff that day. I was making a shredded carrot salad. I added some red onion as well. I squeezed some lemon on that stuff. And I chopped up these beautiful green salad leaves. Obsessed. After adding some capers to the salad, I mixed it and I made a really nice salad dressing from tahini spread, some mustard, I also added garlic powder and turmeric, salt, pepper and I also used the olive oil from the sun-dried tomatoes jar. It's just so good, it's the best way to add some life to a salad. I also added some oat milk and mixed that all together and my lunch was basically done. After making a little bowl out of it, I topped it with some sauerkraut and walnuts and mmm, yum, best lunch. Dinner was basically a leftover wrap, I just mashed an avocado and I added some leftover salad from lunch and then I also used quinoa, sweet potatoes and red beans. I made that dish in another video, then I was rolling it up, forgot the jalapenos, added that. This wrap was heaven, it had so many flavors, I was not complaining at all. feeling a smoothie because I am a bit lazy this morning and I just want to have breakfast because I'm really hungry. My hair is weird. You know what? Ignore my hair, okay? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This is how I slept, so that's why I look like this. Okay, so move on. I'm making a matcha smoothie. I usually drink matcha, but today I'm gonna put it in my smoothie. This smoothie is supposed to be a booster, glow up smoothie. Yeah, that's what we are gonna have. And also, I think I'm gonna have yogurt bowl or something next to it because to be honest, whenever I have smoothie as a breakfast, I just don't feel it enough because I just drink it. And obviously I feel full, but I just feel like I really wanna eat something, physically eat it. That's why I'm just gonna cut some fruits and put some yogurt and I'm just gonna have a little bowl next to my smoothie but this smoothie ideally if you don't have this weird thing happening to you as well that you need to eat this is the perfect to go smoothie if you're in a hurry or you just want a low effort breakfast this smoothie would be really good for you to fill you up because there are fats in there green leaf vegetable and oats so everything you need to feel full and glowing yeah let's go let's do it so as I said, this smoothie contains a lot of healthy fats from the avocados, omega-9 to be exact. It's good for your hair, your skin, so it's good for your soul. I added some nectarine and banana for some natural sweetener. 
along with some cucumber, add a frozen spinach, a teaspoon of matcha powder and a teaspoon of wheatgrass powder as well, along with some spirulina powder which has really high protein and iron content that you really need to have enough energy to all the things you are doing a day. And I blend it all in up with some oat milk and my smoothie was amazing. It was thick, delicious, all the good stuff. All I ever really wanted was a couple of drinks. I topped the yogurt with some mango, banana, almonds, I added some cinnamon and dark chocolate and of course let's not forget about the peanut butter, my favorite thing on earth. Okay, maybe after the peaches, but on top of the list. So yeah, that was breakfast. It was crazy good. The smoothie went on my hoodie, like, I put the hoodie on five minutes before I started recording this. I, I don't even remember when, so <laughs> I need nothing more than you, I need nothing more than you, I need nothing more than you. Lunch was easy peasy. <laughs> I'm enjoying these voiceovers way too much. Sorry for that. So I sauteed some garlic with some onion. I added some olive oil and salt, pepper, water, oregano, garlic powder. After three minutes, I added the tomato sauce. To make it extra nice and thick, I also added some whole grain flour and cooked it for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I was making a whole grain pasta and I also decided to make some grilled tomatoes in the oven. I chopped up some cherry tomatoes, seasoned them with salt, pepper and oregano and I put them in the oven for 10 minutes on 180 Celsius degrees. And then a little trick for you guys, this is vegan mascarpone and this cheese made the whole thing so much creamier and lighter. I love to add it to my tomato pasta, it takes it to the next level. Heard voices in the night Whispers of double lives So I back from where you knife For dinner I was feeling a stuffed sweet potato, so I baked one in the oven for 25 minutes on around 180 degrees until it was soft in the middle. And then I was making an avocado chickpea filling. I cooked a can of chickpeas on medium heat for 5 minutes with some smoked paprika, salt, pepper, turmeric and water. I also mashed some avocados with some red onions. Sorry for the onion haters, but avocados and red onion go so well together. Yum! I added salt, pepper and some lemon juice and then I was mashing the chickpeas with a fork. It takes around two minutes to make it and I mixed it with the avocado spread and my filling was delicious and done. And I stuffed the sweet potatoes and that was my amazing dinner. The next day was really exciting. We went to Vienna for a road trip with my brother and his friend and my friend. And so I wanted to have a really filling breakfast because I didn't know when I was gonna have lunch. So I used this protein powder. I'm not a huge fan of protein powder, but when you don't know when you're gonna eat next, it's really nice to fill you up. I added some peanut butter, cinnamon, cocoa powder and protein powder to the cashew keeper. And I also cut up a beautiful melon. Look at that, Jesus, it was amazing. So I had these as my breakfast and I started the day off right. My world is spinning There is something I need to know We've been vibing Drank the wine and Now you say Nice Oh, but I know love when I see it Oh, but I don't know if you wanna feel it But you don't have to go home You can stay tonight We can keep on vibing till the morning light Put your heels back After visiting a museum in Vienna, we went to a vegan place which was amazing. I'm gonna write it in the description box. If you're there, try this place, it was legit good. 
I had a vegan pizza with some roasted almonds, pesto and sun-dried tomato. It was heaven, I really enjoyed it. My brother also had a corn chowder and he loved it as well. So my friend who came with me is really good at taking pictures and he helped me. We took a bunch of pictures, I had a lot of fun. Check his work out guys because he's legit good. And I was so full after that pizza that I couldn't really had anything else as dinner. I was munching on some cracker bread in the car and that was our day. Good morning, it's a big day. I've been grocery shopping yesterday and I found this bread. Vegan bread, vegan toast bread. I missed toast bread for so long. I haven't had toast bread for several months now and it has B12 in it. That really makes me happy. So celebrate this new discovery. I'm gonna make an avocado sandwich. I hope you're having a really good day. I hope you're fine. I hope you're loving yourself. I hope you think you're beautiful because you are. And let's continue with the food, okay? For my sandwich, I chopped up a few cloves of garlic, I added half a ripe avocado and some hummus, it made it all so creamy. I'm the original. I added half a lemon's juice, salt, pepper, some chili flakes. I used it as a spread and I put my little sandwich together. I cut up some cucumber and tomatoes. I added some pea sprouts and enjoyed my little breakfast with my matcha. start cooking lunch but first I have to show you what I'm eating cracker bread it's basically like from corn flour like seven 18 calories per slice but if you put on some hummus or avocado it's actually a nice treat and I just love to eat it on its own because for some freaking reason it's so satisfying I don't get it there is no reason behind it because it's so dull that's why it's so good I just want to keep eating it so yeah I have some leftover avocado spread from the morning and I'm gonna put it on some eat it and I'm gonna start cooking I just want you to hear Just want you to Lunch was a creamy mushroom soup with chickpea pitas. I sauteed some garlic and onion with olive oil, salt, pepper and vegetable stock for 3 minutes on high heat. Then I cut up potatoes and mushrooms, added some boiling water to the pot and cooked the potatoes for 5 minutes. Then I also added the mushrooms and let that simmer for around another 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I made the chickpeas. I opened a can of chickpeas and cooked it on medium heat with some water, turmeric, curry powder, salt, pepper for five minutes or so. Knows better. I, guess it's been that I also added white beans to the soup along with a coconut milk, let that simmer for another five minutes and then I blended that all on up with a hand mixer. I also baked the pitas in the oven for three minutes on 200 Celsius degrees to make them really nice and warm. I added the chickpeas, I topped the soup with some pumpkin seeds, and that was my lunch. I got a job in the city, I got a house with a guest room, I don't know who's there, got a person that loves me. She hates the way that I talk, I smoke, I stare I'm a king in a castle 
for dinner I was feeling something light, you know, so I made a smoothie bowl. From celery, frozen forest fruits, raspberry, spinach, a banana, added some cinnamon and blended that all on up with some oat milk. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I poured it into this beautiful aesthetic jar that I love. It's from Ikea and I'm obsessed with it. Added some mango, peaches, and I realized halfway through that it was way too full, so I made a little emergency quality control. I also topped it with some dark vegan chocolate and almonds, and that was a good night for me. Hey, hey, it's the next morning. I'm feeling pretty glowing today, like, I got this day, you know? Anyway, right now, I'm gonna make some baked oats. I already did a baked oats in another video, but this is a new version, improved version, okay? This is a peanut butter oat cake. Wow, what did you just say? Peanut butter oat cake? Hell yes, okay, okay, I'm done. Let's go. Oh, this angle is so good for me, like, wow. Mm -hmm. This is like I accidentally took a photo when I looked at my phone. Hello. <laughs> okay, so this oat cake is very simple, no magic there. Just fill the bowl that you are going to bake your cake in up to three quarters with some oats. Add two teaspoons of baking powder, three teaspoons of cinnamon and blend that thing up until it looks like this. And then I'm making a mess as usual. Anyway, mash a really ripe banana with a fork and add that to the mixture. Then add around three splashes of oat milk, stir that around. Then I was breaking down some frozen raspberries, add it to the mixture and mix it together. I added a scoop of peanut butter in the middle as well as poured some on top and I baked it in the oven for around 25 to 30 minutes on 180 Celsius degrees. I don't personally love a too sweet breakfast, so this one is perfect because there are no sugar in there, just from the natural sugar from the banana, so it's not that sweet and it fills you up for hours. Then I made this beautiful iced matcha that I was obsessed with and enjoyed my breakfast. It's sunny at the most days You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way Maybe you should stay instead of turning it on Perfect! For lunch I made tofu strips I marinated in soy sauce and agave syrup And I put it in the oven for 25 minutes on 180 Celsius degrees then I also cut up some aubergine and zucchini into thin-ish slices. I seasoned them with salt, pepper and smoked paprika. These went into the oven too along with the tofus for 20 minutes. I started with some brown rice. If you want to make your dish even quicker, you can meal prep or you can use couscous, which is done in five minutes. That way this dish would really be the most effortless and quickest food you can ever make. Not to mention how yummy and healthy it is. That night I was really feeling to nourish my body with all the goodness it needs. So I made an avocado salad, I cooked some quinoa, chopped up a bunch of salad leaves along with some tomatoes and avocados. I get so nervous when I think of you Alone in your bedroom The radio on, the radio off For the dressing I mixed some rice cream with pepper, salt, garlic powder, rosemary, nutritional yeast and oat milk. This whole bunch of goodness in a bowl also topped it with some pumpkin seeds and almonds I made a toast which I had with some olive oil and yummy it was so freaking damn good You're everything I want in a pixelated sonogram taking off your top it's a product of the way you've been listen to your mom baby I've been waiting for you but now I'm falling in love 
The next morning, I cut up this beautiful pineapple. It smelled like heaven. And I promise you that I won't ever lie. I'll be there for you, baby. I blended the pineapple with a banana, peanut butter, protein powder, and a little bit of water. Added some oats, around three tablespoons, to make it extra creamy. And I blended it up. Don't die, cause I need you like a bird needs to take flight. I made a layered bowl. I added a chia pudding that I made the day before. I also poured the smoothie on top. I added some frozen raspberries and granola and wow, it was a flavorful bomb. Then I decided to make a turmeric latte. If you love spices, this one is for you. I used turmeric, ginger, cinnamon and pepper, poured some hot water on them, mixed it with a hand mixer, I also made some foamy milk and there you go, beautiful turmeric latte. You couldn't see through all of his lies, him starting the fights and no compromise. You don't need and I promise you that I won't ever lie I'll be there for you baby You and I can touch the sky Later that day I met a friend and we were walking around in a city in Budapest and I also had a vegan ice cream which was warm and I was just enjoying myself And I promise you that I won't ever lie I'll be there for you, baby You and I can touch the sky I'll care for you And I'll keep you in my sight Yeah, I'll be watching, baby To make sure this stuff don't die Cause I need you Like a bird needs to take flight And I will love you, baby I will love you every night And I promise you for lunch I was going for a maxi style kind of vibe. I cut up this huge squash, I peeled them and chopped them up, seasoned them with salt, pepper, smoked paprika, nutmeg, olive oil and baked it in the oven for around 20 minutes on 180 celsius degrees. No, she ain't never going home. She lights a cigarette, it's one end on the steel wheel. After that I was chopping up a fresh parsley. It smelled so good. I also chopped up a red onion, garlic, onion and sauteed it in a pot with olive oil, salt, pepper and curry powder. I added some butter and kidney beans along with some lentils and the parsley. It's always on the run, faster than a bullet from a gun. I cooked it for 5 minutes and then I added a chopped tomato and some smoked paprika. I also used up the leftover brown rice from the other day and cooked it for another three minutes. She ain't ever going home. She sold all her stuff, it reminded her too much of him. From the couch to the sheets that they've been sleeping. I made avocado toast to go with the food and that was lunch. The girl's always, is always on the run. Faster than the bullet from the gun She said so long, got rid of her phone She ain't ever going home I'm currently making dinner Dinner! I'm gonna cook the corns, pasta, making a little pasta salad and I'm gonna cook these babies here. For the pasta salad, I cut up pepper, tomatoes, cucumber, added some pea sprouts and sun-dried tomatoes, and I seasoned it with the sun-dried tomatoes, oil, salt, pepper, oregano, garlic powder, and added some extra olive oil. Cause you're seeing someone else And I heard he treats you well But it still hurts like hell Darling, tell me Do you think about me too? Mm -hmm. 
I had a really slow and chill night and I was enjoying my beautiful dinner in the garden. Does it hurt you in the way it hurts me too? Thank you guys so much for watching my video. It means the world to me that you're here. I really hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration. And never forget to love yourself before you love anyone else. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of care and never ever forget that if somebody doesn't give you the love you deserve don't waste your time on them so thank you so much for watching i'm sending you so much love and sunshine and i'll see you in the next video bye guys